Hello everyone! I have just arrived in Italia. I am at the port of Bari in Italy, in the Apulia region of Italy. Bari is a little bit north of where the heel is, but this region basically encompasses that little heel part of the boot of Italy. Just got off the overnight ferry from Igumenica, Greece. And it was actually a little bit nicer than I expected because it's still morning and a few hours before I can check into where I'm staying here in Bari. I'm going to go and walk into town, maybe find a nice cafe to kill some time in. And now I'm finally at the apartment that I'm staying at here in Bari. It looked really nice online and it seems to be even nicer in person. So here is what it looks like. Nice freshly renovated kitchen. This whole building is freshly renovated, I'm told, because obviously like most buildings in pretty much any Italian city, uh, it's old, but the stuff inside of it's pretty new. High ceilings, big open area here, living room, table, and there is a balcony. All of the doors, big doors open here, so you can get lots of fresh air if it's a nice spring day like it is today. And there's the street that I'm staying on. And luckily, <laughs> I can leave my shoes out in the sun here to maybe try and dry out a little bit and stop squeaking after walking in the rain the last couple of days. But yeah, and there you could even see a little bit of the sea from here as well. And this cafe right across the street here, which will be very convenient for breakfast and where I just spent a little bit of time having some coffee and waiting for the check-in time here. So the rest of the apartment looks like this. You have the bathroom, sink on the outside, bathroom here on the inside. Of course, you have a bidet. Those are a little more common here than they are in Greece. And here's the bedroom, nice big bed. All right, so I was told this is a must eat in Bari. This is a focaccia calda. So basically a hot focaccia. It's like pizza, except the bread is a little bit thicker and it doesn't have the layer of cheese on it, but it's similar to pizza. Apparently, this is the part of Italy that focaccia is from. So if you're in Bari, have a focaccia calda. I'm lucky that there was this place close to my apartment here that has it and, whoo, all right. <laughs> it is molto caldo. <laughs> it is very hot. So uh, once you open it up, you might wanna give it a minute before you dig in. All right, now it's cooled off a little bit. So now we can go ahead and, and dig in. Mm. Very good. Definitely um, the best focaccia I've ever had. Hello everyone, out again. And now we are walking into the old town of Bari. And on my way there, I decided to stop and see the castle here, which is very hard to miss. It kind of stands out a little bit, but it is six euros to get in to look at the castle complex. And it's definitely something very interesting to see here in Bari, if you're interested in seeing the history of this important port town. Now that we've seen the castle, let's walk on to Bari Vecchio, Old Bari. Ooh. 
Well, okay, I wasn't expecting the air show while I was getting shots of Old Bari today. All right, so since we're getting an air show today, let's walk out here where it's a little more open and see if we can see some more of this. So I was gonna walk through the old town and then end up here at Lungomare, which is the seafront here in Bari. But I decided to come here first because this big air show that I had no idea was going on today uh, kept going on. So I figured I'd come here to get a better view of the planes. And I got here just in time to see a group of planes leaving off uh, what appeared to be the colors of the Italian flag. So I'm not sure why today, I, I guess I'll have to look up and find out the reason why this is happening today because this is not like a like a national holiday as far as i know so let's just walk down a little bit and see what lungomare the seafront here in body looks like and then hook back to the old town after taking a stroll down here So on the way back towards the old town from the seafront, figured I'd pass through the Murat neighborhood, which really is kind of a typical modern urban center. I mean, there's not really much that stands out about this particular area. I mean, it's very nicely organized, which is a little bit unlike most European cities, especially Southern European cities, but um, it's really just a kind of a normal kind of neighborhood. I'm coming up to a pedestrian walk here which I'll just make a right at and walk up this way towards where the old town is. It's a nice, nice atmosphere for just walking around and getting a feel for the city. All right, so here's where the modern city center starts kind of becoming the old town. Start seeing roads that look a little more like that sort of have that classic old Italian look. So it, it's pretty easy to tell when you are getting into Bari Vecchio because it looks a lot more Vecchio over here than it does just a couple of blocks behind me. Even if you've been to some other parts of Italy that have an old town like this, 
it's still, you know, when you come to the one in Bari, it still will fascinate you if you like the way that sort of the, the style of the buildings here and the way that everything looks here is. It's really cool to just kind of walk around and lose yourself in. I mean, I'm not really going on any particular route. I'm just wandering around. a bench here to sit and eat a little more of my scagliozze or the little fried cornmeal thing that I got in the old town just now and it has a very simple taste I mean it's just fried cornmeal basically so corn some salt and because it's made out of corn your taste will remind you of popcorn a little bit except obviously it's not popcorn it's it's very different a very different kind of corn but because of it being corn obviously you know the the taste will remind you of it. It's a little greasy. I mean, I'm, I may not eat all five of these because I am gonna go have dinner soon, but um, you know, I just figured why not? It seemed like a simple enough snack. And a nice end to the day with a nice pizza and beer at a restaurant called Muratina. This was recommended to me by my apartment host here in Bari, so I'm going to dig in now and say goodbye to you guys from Bari. Stay tuned for my next video. I will be doing some more videos here in Italia. For my next video, I'll actually be going on a bit of a quest to try to find something, something unique in Southern Italy. So join me for that. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Global Nico if you haven't already. And until next time, take care and travel better.